Do you remember when facials were only for the rich and famous? Facials used to be a luxury item, but now they've become more of the norm. And I want you to think of getting a monthly facial like going to the dentist. I know, weird, right? But hear me out. Every six months, your entire life, you've gone to the dentist for a deep cleaning. And then afterwards, it's your job morning and night to brush your teeth and floss your teeth. Why do you do that? Because you don't want to have cavities. You want to keep your gums healthy and your teeth overall healthy. So that way they don't have to be pulled and you have no other issues. Same thing with your skin. Your esthetician and getting monthly facials does a deep cleaning of your pores. We clean out your pores and we make sure that the skin is staying healthy. But during that facial, we're also taking a look at your skin and determining, is your skin dry? Is it dehydrated? Is it oily? Do you have dry patches? Does your skin get oily throughout the day? Are you suffering from acne, rosacea, or skin sensitivity? Do you have dark patches, melasma, or uneven skin tone? What is your skin's aging like? All of this determines how we do the facial. And then when you're done with your facial, we send you home with skincare products that are going to support your skin from month to month. Now, one thing I want you to know is that it can take four to six weeks for your skin to adjust to a new product. So in the beginning, it might take a little bit of time before you start to see results. But as long as you're being consistent and not swaying away from the products that your esthetician told you to use, you'll start to see results after a month. Now, I've been an esthetician for 20 years, so I've seen a lot of changes in this industry. And when I first started, the people that I treated for facials were the older generation and a lot of teenagers suffering from acne. Fast forward to now, it seems like everybody has acne, everybody has skin problems, and we start to, we seem to be aging younger now than we did before. Why is that happening? Well, there's three factors that are playing a role into that. Number one is lifestyle. What we put into our body does impact the skin. If you remember my video from last week, I talked about gut health and acne, but our lifestyle determines how our skin reacts. Are you exercising? Are you sleeping? Are you under stress? Do you smoke? Are you eating well? And last but not least, are you drinking alcohol? Because that can dehydrate your body and impact your skin. The other thing is number two, products. What products are you using? Are you using something an esthetician sent you home with? Or are you letting an influencer determine what products you should be buying? Because I can tell you right now, that influencer knows how to use the right makeup, the right lighting, and the right filters to make her skin look flawless. And her job is to sell you product, not help you with your skin. And number three is consistency. Are you consistent? Are you washing your face morning and night? Do you skip here and there? Do you just splash water on your face in the morning because you're like, I just washed it the night before? All of these three factors impact the skin. Now, these three things are important to note, but facials also have amazing benefits. One of these benefits is muscle tone. Facials help with aging because they in improve your face, face muscle tone. Another thing is blood flow. So when you get a facial, it stimulates circulation, which oxygenates your skin. The other thing it helps with is fluid retention. Now, one thing we don't realize is that we have this lymphatic system. And if we're not stimulating that, it can become stagnant. Our circulation has our heart to pump blood. So that way the circulation is always moving through our body. But our lymphatic system doesn't have a pump. So facials can help increase that, which helps move fluid. Exercising is another great way to increase um, the lymphatic system and move fluid so that way it's, your body's not holding fluid in it. Relaxation. In this day and age of stress and anxiety, self-care is key. And getting monthly facials is a great way to incorporate self-care into your life. And then having an esthetician, think of us as your skin coach. When we went to school, we studied biology and chemistry. We have to understand the science of the skin. We have to understand how the skin works and the biology of the skin. We also need to know chemistry because those products that you're putting on your skin, we need to understand exactly what that product's doing and how it could possibly react to the skin itself. 
Now, those influencers who are out there selling you product, and I'm going to use retinol as an example. A lot of these influencers are like, use retinol because it helps with aging. That's all they know retinol does. They don't understand what a retinol does, why you should be using a retinol, and how it impacts the skin. So I want you to really think about these things when you're thinking about your skin and, and your skin goals, because an esthetician is here to help you achieve that. And when you come in for a facial every month, we are determining how your skin is going to stay healthy and how we're going to achieve those goals from month to month. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back next week.